Twice in one for Hip Hop 93.9 The B. What's up? It's Romeo Valentine, and we are live in the Hawaiian Financial Music Hall, the iHeartRadio Music Hall, with a special guest. Okay, this guy is an actor. He's a rapper. He's had hit singles and everything. He's he's done it all. Okay, he's even filmed a TV show in Hawaii, a major TV show. It ain't a joke, ladies and gentlemen. Malcolm Kelly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, Romeo? Good to see you, bro. What's Thank up, brother? Thanks for having me, man. And, and we actually met online on uh, Instagram, yes, and sir, uh, yes, sir. I'm glad we actually made this happen because he was he happened to be in town yeah. celebrating uh, birthdays. Birthdays, birthdays. My birthday, my lady's birthday. So yeah. we out here. It's been a vibe. It's been yeah. a vibe. And what better place to take uh, your lady and yourself oh, to man. than Hawaii? To Hawaii, man, on the beach. You know, it's been a, it's been a beautiful place, man, for sure, yeah. for sure. I see. I see that you've been uh, dabbling in the water lately. Yeah, you know, we had to get the uh, you know the little board. Out, jump out there. I really don't know how to surf. You know, I've lived here for a minute, and man, that water is, is, is a you got to be ready for it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But but no, nah, it was beautiful, as clear as ever as I remember. So it was beautiful being out there for sure. That's good because I mean, when you were filming uh, the TV show Lost, no. yeah. you you said the the water is still blue, which is a <laughs> good sure. sign. Come on now, Let's, you guys take beautiful care of the water in the island here. So it's beautiful. She loved it. I loved it. It's, it's always remarkable when I see it for sure. And what is one of your, um, you know, now that we're still on the topic of Hawaii, what is one of your fondest memories uh, being here? Man, I, I have a lot. You know, I've met some great people here. Shout out Kayaka, Trevin, um, you know, Taylor. Uh, those are some of my guys out here. And, man, you know, running with them, they had me scaling on rocks, you know, jumping in the water in the middle of the reef, you know what I'm saying? Diving under the waves, um, you know we've done a lot of cool stuff here, man. Like uh, and just being on laws, you know, seeing all the wild boar running around, and oh, like yeah. it's just been a been an adventure every time for sure. Did you catch any chickens? <laughs> no, we're chasing them. You know, definitely chasing them. You know, those chickens are fast. Man. That's what I mean. It sounds like you do everything that uh, that us local people do. You for know, sure, I'm one of the locals, man. This is yeah. a home away from home for me for sure. Yeah, for sure. that's why that's cool. So you chase chickens when we was kids. Come was, on, come on. You know, I played a little, 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 little basketball with the um with the uh with, with team was that out here when, when Trevor Trevin whatever high school he went to but I played on their high school team um, they had a travel team out here I've traveled with them to Las Vegas oh, you know shoot. so yeah man you know I'm very invested in the Hawaiian culture I love it I love it here oh, you see sure. you baller you baller oh too. yeah I hoop a little bit you oh, know shoot. I see me come on now I got a hoop oh, shout out shoot. the Lakers you know we about to go to the uh, Western Conference Finals so we ready for that they're, they're, ready. yeah it's, it's I mean that, I'm, <laughs> uh, that's who you're rooting for because you're from yes, LA sir. yes sir yes sir okay. you know I, li I like I just like good competition though um um, so shout out to Ian. I know he's on American Idol right now doing yeah. his thing. Top three, right? So that's that's amazing. Shout out to Hawaii. Best of luck to him. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. I know he has a show tonight. You know, it's just, I just love it. You know, um, seeing what he's doing, him being here from Hawaii, I, th I think it's great. You know? Wow, that's so cool, man. I'm, I'm rooting for him. Let's go, Ian. Let's go. Yeah, you know, I mean, you see, I mean, obviously you've been seeing the clips, seeing the show. I mean, what do you what do you think of him? I mean, I, from from day one. No, uh, well, I, I was a little late. I'm not going to lie. As soon as I got here, my boy Kayaka put me on, and I was, you know, we happened to turn it on right at like 7 o'clock when it, when it aired. So I was uh -huh. like, okay, we get to see him. You know what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason. So yeah. it was great. He sounded great. Um, you know, the judges told him every, everything he needed to hear, and he's top three, right? So yep. let's go, man. Let's get it. You can win, Ian. Let's get it. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. And that's going to sure. be the um, first American Idol from Hawaii. That's right. one. Mm -hmm. we've, had, we've had American Idols in the past that have gone on the show. But, I mean, this will be the first. Yeah, man. Which that's is exciting, I think, for the state. You're, you're, yeah. you're here during the madness. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's timing. That's how it's supposed to be. So I love that. I love yeah. that. Shout out to him. I know he has a show tonight. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to make it. But uh, I definitely would have loved to have been there. So shout out to Ian. Best of luck to you, bro. Hopefully we'll collab soon. You know what time it is. Yeah, that would be dope. I yeah, mean, he, sure. he got a you guys got to do something together. That'd be cool, sure, especially when sure. uh, you know you recognize somebody uh, you know as yourself to be able to shout them out like that. So yeah, come on, it's all love. So uh, acting, I'm sure you probably get the questions a lot. Acting and you know going into the music because you had your group, yeah. MKTO, MKTO for sure. Um, and then you're going solo now. Yeah. Well, shout out to all my MKTO fans. You know, it's nothing but love there. You know, we had a lot of pop success. Shout out to Tony. Um, you know, that was my partner in the group. Uh, you know, classic hitting over a billion streams. Yeah. Like, and still still taking on its own life on Instagram, TikTok, and stuff like that, man. You know, the social media game is crazy. So um, we did a lot of great things, you know. And just sometimes you, when you're young and signing the contracts or whatever, yeah. you get into the business. You got to understand it's a business at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as we love to make music. Um, so, yeah, but we did a lot of great things and you know um unfortunately you know we kind of had to part ways just uh due to some of the business stuff but tony that's my guy we'll still make some records you know what i'm saying later down the line it might not be under mkto but yeah. you know we're gonna get it done so but i definitely learned a lot being signed to columbia records um uh, bmg and uh you know just using that to everything i got going on as well 
you learn still mention that with the acting and everything we get into it learn a lot from the music industry because yeah it is I, I noticed that with a lot of people it is a contract it's yeah. become a contract it's, it's like you start out as a passion I love doing music For I love sure. doing that For and sure. all of a sudden it's like you gotta look at that business aspect of it it's, it's a whole other monster you yeah know? you're working yeah. hard you're working hard you, you're like wait how do we have a billion streams but only yeah, a ten dollar check what is going up? on you know where's the money Where's the? where is the <laughs> make money make sure it's adding up right you know what I'm saying <laughs> so all my future artists just make sure you know I know you love the music but um, take a second to, to figure out the business a little bit you know and, and there's learning curves you know um, obviously I got into the situation I learned so much it was great we've toured all over the world you know um, shout out to Taylor Swift she brought us out in front of 60,000 people so wow. just the steps that it took to get us to where we are you know being actors and coming and being getting respect as musicians yeah. it was great man and you know um, I, I wouldn't trade it in for the world you know what I'm yeah. saying was, of course yeah time. and you get the experience yeah, I mean, for those sure. things you can't, for sure. you can't for be sure. for yeah you know it wasn't all you know bad but you know when you just get older and you start to look at mm -hmm. you know what's going on and understand the business a little more you just have questions and you, you want to figure it out and get it right you know yeah. what I'm saying so that's all this is about how was it uh, you coming in as a child actor how was it how was it on that side I mean where did where did the money go there I mean did it go straight nah, to your parents nah, I, mean, I always wondered like yeah no you know they have they have the um something when you're under 18 you know they have a portion of the money get tucked away so that's not oh. tucked, you know, that's not touched at all um but yeah you know you know you're growing up and you know you live in life you know what i'm saying i bought my mom cars and you know all, yeah. the, all the little things but uh but yeah you know just invest your money i think that's the important thing you know what i'm saying you learn that just as you grow or depending on who you're around so just you know i'm telling y'all now just invest i think that's just very what, important. what is make some money make money you invested in um you know definitely the crypto um you know what i'm saying properties is, is are, are great things to invest mm -hmm. in um um, but yeah, I mean, whatever works for you, you just find out what works for you and get into it. Are you planning on starting a side business or anything like that? Yeah, you know, I definitely, with my platform, I try to open up and, and do a lot of shows and give other artists, you know, opportunity mm -hmm. to perform and get them in front of crowds and, um, you know, uh, managing artists. I've done that as well. Um, and still doing that. And, um, yeah. You manage artists as well? Yeah, yeah. Managing yeah. artists, you know, just, just understand yeah. coming from a, a place as an artist, I can kind of understand what an artist needs, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, and kind of tending to that sometimes you can get lost when it's just a manager who hasn't really been in the artist position you know what i'm saying it's kind of yeah. being the manager also just understanding different things and it's, and it's been great you know connecting people with different people um i've had some artists under me and 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 been able to like sign a too short or like work with like snoop dogg or like you know shout out the late great nipsey hustle who yeah. i've uh you know had a chance to work with and put some of my artists i was working with on a song with him as well so you know just just being around the industry being from la and um you know, getting to it. You know, nothing's going to yeah. get handed to you, so you got to kind of go out there and get after it, you know, so that's kind of what I'm about. What was Nipsey Hustle like, man? I mean, you know, I haven't had a chance to meet him. Yeah, you know, we were playing one of his songs on the way over oh, here, yeah. man. It's just very inspirational. Um, uh, he was just a very good dude. You know, I, I, uh, it was kind of early on when we got the record, uh, uh, with him but he came to the studio by himself you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. a real humble guy laid the record down like no no pain and no pad he just went in there was just freestyling off the top wow. you know and um, I got the record out on SoundCloud it's, it's kind of exclusive but you go go to my SoundCloud go to my social media you can find the record it's called Skinny Niggas or Skinny Ann I don't know if we <laughs> here, but uh but yeah, it was a good feel good record, and you know he talked to us a little bit, just giving us a game about, uh, just giving us game about the about the music industry, and um, you know just just really looking at what he did, you know what I'm saying, speaks yeah. a lot of volume. So man, shout out to Nipsey Hussle and rest in peace, and definitely one of my favorite artists. You know I got to got to work with. How great. how is it uh, growing up in L. A. Um, as far as you know, there's so many different people there that are. Uh, you know, trying to make it or trying to do something, and then for sure. you know, how is it accepting um, for a lot of them? Is there a lot of people like kind of like standoffish on everything? Because I, I, you know, I have a lot of friends that are there, and they say they're they're like, you know, when they leave LA, it's like popping. Yeah, yeah. But when yeah. in LA, it's like every so judgmental. Everybody's looking at you like. Yeah, because you know when because a lot of people are coming to LA with, uh, you know, with the mindset of you know trying to. Uh, you know, be who they see they are. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that might, you know, play a role in the, to how they act a little bit. But, you know, just coming from L.A., being in it um, for a long time, I'm just, first, I know I'm blessed to be where I am. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't ever get too big-headed um, about the situation of where I am. Um, but, you know, just, just being humble, I think that'll that'll take you a, a 
further than just you know kind of just being stuck in your ways you know it's, it's all about meeting people connecting with people and uh, that's going to be hard to do if you're very standoffish and you know kind of in your own world you know what i'm saying so and that's something i kind of got to get over you know myself but i know it's just very important so um but to all the artists and everybody up and coming man just just go for it treat the the, the person you're meeting like um you know somebody that's on the way up you know you don't want to see that person go up and then you treated them wrong and now they're like yeah. popping and you kind of just you know you burn the bridge there so just treat everybody with respect and um i think that goes a long way yeah for sure yeah. is there anybody that you want to tap into that you would love to work with you know producer artist um writer yeah man um you know i'm from la i'm a big ty dollar sign fan wow. um you know uh, uh a lot of the la artists um but drizzy you know um you know i love the r&b as well too so SZA, summer walker um Man, you know, shout out Ian. Let's get that record. But no, nah, <laughs> just anybody who likes to be creative, man, you know, I really love that. And, you know, um, sometimes it's just like who's right for a certain song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what do I hear? You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of dope artists. You know, I love to connect with everybody who likes to be creative. For yeah. Sure. And you uh, you got your you have a record out right now. Yeah. You just yeah. dropped it. New uh, new mixtape out right now called Love Letter. Go get that. It's R&B for all my ladies. You know, there's some records on, on that, too, for you fellas. Um, but a uh, single on there called Don't Play With That Girl. Yeah. Uh, it's having a lot of fun right now. Shout out to all my ladies. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with y'all. It's for y'all. So y'all go tap into that um, video on the way soon. Yeah, Did you grow sure. up? You grew up listening to R&B? I mean, what is the yeah, what is man, the take I, back? I, I love R&B. And shout out to my pops. You know, uh, you know he had me on the Temptations yep. just growing up on the Motown Same you know here. what I'm saying so yeah Smokey <laughs> Robinson and just uh, uh -huh. you know just just you know just just the women too you know it's just, it's just great you know what I'm saying having them uh, you know enjoy the songs and, yeah. and stuff like that just giving them just giving them different vibes I, I believe in having different vibes for a lot of different occasions so you know I'm gonna have the turn up records I'm gonna have the R&B records I yeah. got some pop records you know what I'm saying so I just wanna have a little bit of everything very diverse for sure, yeah, I'm, for sure. No, I'm a huge R&B fan and actually yeah. um, growing up when I'm obviously I'm um, ah, Let's say a little older, maybe like middle school. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite artists was like Marcus Houston or okay. Marion. Okay, yeah. I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought all oh, their albums. I was in You Got Served. So yeah, I, I know that's why he was yeah, in You yeah, Got Served yeah, with yeah. them. <laughs> I actually saw the movie in theaters. I was a kid at the Ooh, time, probably. Yeah, yeah. I was a kid and I saw it at this theater that's no longer here anymore. That's okay. <laughs> bro, I saw you in the theater, yeah, dog. bro. No, it was a good time. I remember when that came out, like, you know, and, and just kind of being in it, you don't really recognize, like, what's going on. But I remember going to the movie theater and like you know what I'm saying just everybody having fun with it battling kids at yeah. like you know at PE you know while we're in school you know just having fun like just the dance culture was just a whole life of its own so shout out to everybody still doing it I know people still doing it for Lil Saint to this day yeah. some people haven't even seen the movie that's what's crazy about it just like social media and stuff like oh I remember the dance just like the the little challenge and they haven't even seen the movie but it's awesome though it's awesome I love that's it cra it's crazy like you know how, how, what is it almost yeah, don't years? don't don't age me. Don't don't let's not well, let's I mean, not. I mean, no, no, but no, but to think about it, I mean, you're yeah. still young. You know what I mean? No, That's what's sure. crazy. For sure. You know what I mean? You still look like you might be trying to turn yeah. turn eighteen, bro. I mean, you know what I mean? You stay young. What's the what's the trick for the fountain of youth, dog? You know, um, you know, just water. You know, uh, <laughs> foliate. You know, and, I see you uh, drinking spring water. Uh, yeah, spring. You know, <laughs> I heard that's a trick no, in L.A. Yeah. People know to drink spring water because it's better for you. Is that true? I mean, I don't know, man. All water. I just you know, I don't really get caught up in all. Oh, okay. Happens, you know, you know, I just drink it. Water is water, but you know, find what works for you. I say that. You know, growing up, yeah. we drank from the water hose. Yeah, you come know, on now. Oh, Me too. When you thirsty, hose. get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but yeah, man. Love it, bro. Love it. And, yes, and, and yeah, like I said, I saw that movie back when I was, you know, was young, a young buck, and I yeah. did have a dance crew and all that, bro. I did, oh, I did it all, man. I did it all. It was a life. It was it was a time. So shout out to all my dancers that's still doing their thing. Um, I got some dance records for you on the way, so don't trip. Don't oh, trip. snaps, Come on, now. Come on. I told you we got to be in a little bit of everything, man. Yeah. Like Definitely um, performing a lot more and just, you know, um, getting the vibes of, you know, this is kind of an intimate intimate setting, but when you get to some of those bigger rooms, you want some yeah. someone with that bass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And have people feeling that, so... Um, yeah, definitely. We got I that definitely on the think, way. yeah, you're right. Intimate, intimate shows. Yeah, you gotta have, have a greater yeah, yeah impact. So yeah, when you're on stage, sure. you know, and you know, I mean, you're in a smaller venue. I, th I think because you've done the obviously you said the Taylor Swift. And yeah, all. she brought us out in front of sixty thousand. We've done rooms like these. You know, we've yeah. have even smaller rooms. You know, when you're coming up, you know, you never know. But but any performance, you know, I'm gonna give it my all and have a great time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. How, how is it? How is it walking in the streets, man? I mean, do can you go anywhere and people are like, hey, bro? I mean, you know, I've I've grown up ball, a little bit you know, from a lot of the stuff like, I've done. You know, um, but yeah, when you get some of those great fans. 
friends. I mean, we were at the Dole Plantation, and uh, somebody recognized me oh, up yeah? there. Yeah, so, you know, um, it's all love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get, but, uh, you know, I'm always show love, so I appreciate that. That's sure. dope, man. Yeah. So, you know, growing, um, you know, now that you're, you know, you're more into the hip-hop, more of adult hip-hop, I would yeah, say. Yeah. You're more into the adult hip-hop stuff. Um, you know, how do you stay safe out there, bro? I mean, hip-hop is a dangerous sport. It is, it is. It's a dangerous um, uh, genre of music. It is. It is. And just coming from L.A. and understanding, you know, we got a lot of underlying stuff that we got to deal with, too. But, um, you know, just just being true to yourself, you know what I'm saying, and staying out the way. Um, you know, I still like to go out and party, so I'm not going to tell anybody to stay inside, you know. But just just understand your surroundings, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, just and just, man, you got to you got to walk with a good heart, you know what I'm saying. Um, and I, I think that just clears away a lot of the negative energy that um, could be drawn to you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, I you know, I, I really ever really come across, like, the the BS and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe it's something doing a lot of R&B, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and stuff like that. But, no, I man, I like to turn up. I like to party and have fun. You know, I'm not a saint. You know, I've been out there and, 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 and had my share of living life, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I understand what I what I got going and, and what I'm trying to do and, you um, you know, the kind of legacy I'm trying to leave. So, you know, you can't, you know, you got to grow, you got to grow up a little bit, you know. So, um, you know, I left a lot of the dumb stuff behind, but, you know, I'm not perfect, like I said, and I like to have fun. So, um, but just staying out the way, man, I think is just the most important. So what is, um, what is your five-year plan, man? I mean, you, you have any, uh, TV shows, movies, uh, I yeah. know you got the music going. What yeah, you- check uh, a, lot, a lot. I got a TV show right now called Angel on streaming. Um, check that on your streaming platforms. Another movie called Dutch. You can catch that as well. And, uh, you know, maybe if you haven't been familiar with me in the last couple of years, go check out Insecure, a uh, movie called Detroit. Um, movie called True to the Game. There's a lot more stuff I've done since I've, yeah. you know, because kind of being in the MKTO, like I stepped away from music for like, I mean, stepped away from acting for six or seven years. So, um, you know, Detroit was one of the first movies I did when I kind of started getting back into it a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm writing myself too. So I got some movies on the way that I'm uh, writing and going to be directing. So, Can um, I audition for them? I'm come trying, on, I'm man. trying to become an come actor. Come on, come on. Okay. We got roles for everybody. I, I, I mean, that's I, that's that's a shout out my dog Manny Haley, who's the executive producer of True to the Game in Dutch. I mean, like that's how you got you got to work with your people, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah. definitely, I got you. I yeah. got you. Don't worry about I, that. I've been trying sure. to work on my acting. I mean, um, I got to go through some classes. I'm I'm, I'm actually trying to get a um, uh, what is that? Manager? The, yeah, okay. a, a man uh, agent in L. A. Because okay. I have one here for sure. Yep. But yep. I'm trying to get one in L. A. So um, they gave yeah, me a whole whole nine of things I got to do. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Pictures, headshots. Classes, yeah. Which I have some. I guess they're not good enough. I was like, but that's what I look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, what, 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 don't worry. We'll get you right. We'll get you right. But yeah, acting classes. You know, I'm, I'm definitely still in acting classes or private coaching. You really? Know, yeah. Just so to even, stay sharp. even even though you've been in all these big films for sure. And for sure. You know, worked with big. Come on, Denzel Washington and, yeah. and all the people. Yeah. You want to stay sharp. You know, and oh. um, kind of since I've you know kind of been doing my thing since a lot younger but you know the, the acting has evolved and it changes a little bit and a lot more roles for us you know what i'm saying yeah. so um yeah it's a beautiful thing but yeah you got to stay sharp got to keep sharpening yeah. that tool i'm firmly you send right me now. your acting classes i got I'm trying you. to find one I, I got you but i mean obviously i'm in hawaii i gotta go it online yeah but don't worry about it no okay, they have okay. acting classes online you know the whole yeah. the whole nine so yeah I, I recommend all of that for sure just let me know i got you yeah heck yeah for sure for sure all right well we have it on tape so come on i got if, you man you if know, i don't become a big actor <laughs> <laughs> come on, man, i didn't get the cosign <laughs> you guys know what happened i've been on one commercial so far and i've been on one tv show that's it okay and yeah, I, I know they Hawaii Five O right, out here right now. Um, oh no, the Hawaii um, is, Magnum is PI. Magnum PI. Yeah, Magnum yeah. PI. I'm sorry. But I'm I get them mixed that. up too. But yeah. I did do. I did do Mag. That was my first booking ever. It was Magnum. Okay, come back. Gave me a couple bro. lines. Yeah, come on. And you I got the like, lines too. Some yeah. people start out with the background. You know, some people. So yeah, you know, you there. You there. Lines. Stop and playing. And I did a bank commercial, and they gave me some lines in there too. Okay, yeah, those commercials. That's where it's at too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the but the Magnum, they give you a percentage too with your. And they pay fast. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yes, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a beautiful thing, and they have you know they have the union there, so it's, yeah. it's not as hectic as the music a little bit. Um, you know, trying to track stuff down and all that, or making sure you get it. You know, yeah. what you're owed or whatever. So music, you got to yeah. figure it out. You, you gotta know, be- yeah, you got to figure it out. Stay on top of people. Um, so it, it definitely. 
as they you know kind of both work together but they're you know still a little different in their yeah. own ways but, yeah. but they're beautiful I, I wouldn't trade them for the world i love it yeah so what else you got planned man while you're here in hawaii i mean you plan on coming back soon yeah I mean, no definitely i'm gonna be back i know since covid i, I haven't really uh had a chance to come back but um this was this was a beautiful time we had a, a lot of fun here and uh you know like i said it's a home away from home so i'll be back soon man it's a beautiful place i want to come in here and you know what i'm saying and perform have some beautiful people in here yeah so yeah we're gonna be back for sure so what is um what is one thing you learned, you know, from being in Hawaii? Any verbiage, any uh, local terms? Um, you know, I, was the hardest word you had to learn? Me, like, it's, it's been a minute. I haven't really had to brush up on too much since being. It's been here. a while. That's uh, why it's been a while. Um, you just learned EM. Yeah, I just, I just learned EM. Shout out to EM. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, yeah, you you got me on that one. I don't want to sound no 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 with the aloha. You know, I don't, you know, I, yeah, but yeah. Nah, I got I got to get back in tune with it a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, you 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 leave, you leave the islands for. But a while. patience, man. You know, a vibe. I just I just love the vibe here. You know, it's just very you know relaxed and chill. You know, what I'm saying. Um, so it's it's good to have that. It's good to have yeah. that. Be able to get away and just you know kind of clear your mind for a little bit. Um. And it's good to take that back with me, so uh, I think I'll Wait, enjoy uh, you that. know I, I, why why did you um you know why did you choose music you know with an with your acting career man you can make a lot of more money doing acting yeah um you know you know it's it, it was a passion thing you yeah. know I've always had a, a dream of you know putting out an album and touring yeah. you know performing in front of people and uh, you know I, oddly enough I met my group member on a TV show we were doing together called Gigantic on Teen Nick and um, you know on our, on our downtime we were making songs in, in oh. our trailer you know on, on our laptops and uh, putting it up on YouTube this was before streaming and everything so you know we kind of got we got found and discovered off of YouTube just oh, wow. just by our songs being up on there and then um, you know that that rolled into us meeting our our producers we end up signing to and then um, label um Columbia came. Yeah, you know, Columbia and Def Jam, you know, it was like a couple bids of them trying to sign us. And, oh. man, that was just a whole dream, you know what I'm saying? So being able to do that and uh, experience that with my boy Tony, you know, it was, that was something I wouldn't trade in for the world. We toured all over the world. Just the places music can bring you, man. It's, yeah. it's just a beautiful thing um, and the vibes and, you know, it's beautiful. And I think uh, that's the difference between the acting and, and music when you travel. It's like when acting, you're, you're literally, you can't do much. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're on really. set all day. Yep. yep. And, and, that, and that music reaction is immediate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can make a song you know what i'm saying come perform it and we're all going to feel it right there you know tv yeah. we got to shoot it takes nine months to edit it and then yeah. um you know boom then they'll play it so you know just the reaction with the music is, is a little bit faster it's yeah. dope it's dope that's that's crazy so anything anything you want to leave us with yeah man you guys go tap in a love letter right now more music on the way follow my socials at the real malcolm on instagram and twitter and uh yeah man just just stay tapped in it's a lot more stuff on the way Yo, I appreciate how, can, you. How, can we do, how can we know um do any records with omarion and then we'll watch well, you, oh, you know hey man you know oh what's up we're gonna do something we'll you do know something. like i mean do you still talk to them or they they haven't you talked know, to you i, I like, see him in passing yeah i see him in passing okay. um and you know instagram i see him at a lot of events shout out jay bug rasby yeah. you know we still tapped in Rasby is, is is a guy like on all the new ventures of business and technology oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know um he's he's tapped me in with a few things going on in, in that in that world um and even jay bug and you know Lil fizz has been doing his thing so you know you know everybody's working and doing their thing but we all still tapped in for sure for okay, sure okay cool that's yeah, cool sir, yes sir that's cool because i know sometimes you know you do the movies it's more of a business transaction you, yeah there's, you, there, there's some movies where you know um you know i may not keep in contact with everybody but but you know it's all love even the lost cast makes you know shout out to everybody even though everybody was a lot older than me, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, Harold Perrineau and um, um, J uh, Josh Holloway, I'm still in contact with. But Dominic, you know everybody, you know everybody. Yeah. So it's always love for sure. That's what I figured. I, I figured that um, sometimes you lose contact with guys, or they might not even get contact. Yeah, and yeah. It's just, it's just, you that know, happens. it's just like, yeah. It's you just, know, it's work. You know, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, I kind of compare it to like the NBA a little bit. You know, sometimes you switch teams. You know, you're on a new team, and it's a, it's a whole new. Um, you know, family you kind of got to get yep. involved with, and then, you know, you leave, and then, uh, hey, you you know, you got to get invested with this family yeah. now, you know, so, you know, it depends on, you connect with who you connect with, though, for yeah. sure. I was just trying to take some people behind the scenes of what it's really like, you know, nobody's Yeah, no, there. for sure, for nobody's sure. Nobody's really for there. Sure. But, yeah, no, like, sometimes there are definitely family aspects, like the movie Detroit I did, that was probably the first movie 
with a lot of the cast being like around we were all around the same age we were mm-hmm. all young so you know kind of like we're lost I was like the only kid on yeah. the island like I said I was laser tag at the at the yeah. hotel by oh, myself yeah, that's what you telling know? Me. like yeah yeah so you were staying over there at the Ilikai during yeah, the, the lost Ilikai. yeah man the Ilikai. Um, yeah. I remember Dominic and I we used to play you know a lot of the FIFA you know a lot of the games and stuff like that but you know those are really he was really the only one I was hanging out with well you know Harold Perrineau had uh, his daughter as well I kind of got to hang with her and uh, Daniel Day Kim you know he had his kids but they're a little younger than me but um but yeah that's why I said I got my island family here shout out Kayaka Trevin again man those are my family here my grandma she just passed away but Sorry, um it's all good but uh it's kind of a full circle moment because you know she introduced me to those people who I met out here so wow. um you know it's just a beautiful thing a beautiful who, who thing. introduced you to um your acting career man um you know, it's interesting, you know, because the game has changed a lot, you know, uh, just with, like, social media and people being discovered in that way. But, you know, when I got started, I was watching, like, a McDonald's commercial, seeing the kids on there having fun, put a smile on with the tagline <laughs> back in the day. And um, I was like, Mom, I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and she was reading the paper, ended up finding my management company, and we started with the acting classes and the headshots. And, um, you know, I ended up booking my first McDonald's commercial, ironically Oh, shoot, enough. you watched come the on, McDonald's man. commercial and you booked one? Come on, come what? on. You got to see it, speak it believe it you know wow. that's when I was like you know a, a big believer in that and uh yeah I ended up doing a couple of McDonald's commercials which is which is pretty crazy but wow. yeah just letting that roll into commercials and guest starring on, on TV shows and then my first movie being Antoine Fisher with Denzel Washington and then you got served and then you know ended up getting lost after that you know so yeah. it kind of just kept spiraling and falling in love with it and then really when I saw Denzel Washington be in a movie and directed at the same time and I opened my eyes up to a whole yeah. to a whole new you know playing field really so that's where i'm at you know it took time longevity um in the game but that's where i'm at now with it it's producing and yeah, directing producing directing you can do it in your music video come on you can do come it on all. yeah they, they go they they go hand in hand so it's a beautiful thing and now you're getting double the portion come on, come on now <laughs> that's the why they're doing on, it you got the hats on for yeah, sure you gotta look sure. at what these guys are doing exactly. like they're doing exactly. it for a reason for sure and when you're able to wear multiple hats you're able to get a multiple you know multiple pace, bags pace come on. yeah yeah, come on. yeah so yeah you know i pay attention to to to, to some of the people i see doing things that i like and i yeah. want to do and uh you know try to mesh that in my own way as well so man. yeah we're here hey malcolm bro it was hey, great chatting high, with you bro. brother on, man. yeah you. shout out great. to hawaii shout out to everybody here 93.9 you survived yeah ladies and gentlemen one more time right here malcolm kelly yeah. on 93.9 the beat iHeartRadio. radio right. we'll see y'all next time Stay tapped in.